Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Uh, this is Hannon. I got a neat demo for you. It's available on Steam for you right now. It's called Wild Frost. It's a card battler. I think if I were to say what's it most similar to, maybe Monster Train, but it's got a really unique spin or spins on it, really. And I think it's worth checking out. Free demo. Check it out. All The only other thing I know is that it's supposed to come out sometime this winter, at least on Steam. I don't know about other consoles or anything like that, but let's uh, let's play the game and I'll do my best to explain it. There is a hub world, so there's kind of permanent upgrades. I think it's like card unlocks mostly, but we won't get that far into it. All right, and now a run has begun. So we have to pick a leader for ourselves here. So this is a card that we play at the start of every single battle. Um, let's see. So let me start by explaining. This is how much health the hero has. This is how much attack the hero has. Down here, apply two spice to a random ally. Spice is a temporary attack increase until uh that ally attacks so every time uh this hero attacks it'll apply to spice or random ally hmm so five is an important one counter so that's how long it takes how many turns it takes for this hero to attack or anyone really uh aimless just means you don't get to target anyone in particular it's just random who they're gonna hit now, you can increase the attack in a lot of ways, like with the spice. Times two means that it triggers multiple times. So after five turns, this ally would attack twice for two attack each time. I don't think it would apply the two spice twice, but it might. It might. I'm not sure, certain about that. Uh, so this one would attack three times for one attack. And then we got laner over here shroom deals damage every turn it's poison basically so it applies three poison and it counts down it deal three deals three damage then two then one then it falls off and they attack every three turns hmm that's kind of interesting so it's kind of a lot of damage but it's spread out i think uh so this game the demo is actually really hard i gotta say it's really difficult there's a pretty good chance i'm gonna lose here honestly i think I want someone who attacks quickly, I've noticed. Let's try this. I haven't tried with the poison very much. All right, and then we get to pick a, one more ally to come with us. We can take Snuff. So applies one snow, freezes counter in reaction. So it'll freeze the enemy's counter, their countdown to attack for one turn. Restores three health allies. I think I like Snuffy here. All right, I know that was like a lot to take in all at once, but hopefully in the battle so you can... Uh, I can kind of show you. So where my head is, it's just I can look at my deck and it shows how much gold we have right now. So nothing else I'm really blocking there. All right. So here it is. So you got two lanes here. Uh, here are the enemies. While damage, their attack is increased by two. Okay. And they it's going to be four turns. Every time I play a card, that's a turn. Uh, so let's see. What do we want to do here? We can apply. We can use our snow stick here. So it deals one damage and applies two frost. I don't know if I want to spread this out. I'll have to think about it. So let's see. I don't think I do. I think instead I use our sunrod. Counts down by two for an ally or an enemy if you wanted. This way they will apply poison. That was kind of overkill, I admit. Now we snow stick this one. Very good. Increase attack by one, deal two damage. Uh, so you're about to attack here. So I guess I'll just increase your attack, because the battle's not going to be over after this. Felt like I might as well. All right, so to redraw, you have to ring the bell. If you play enough cards, it's a free action. If you want to redraw early, it's going to cost you a turn. Uh, so that's pretty dangerous here. I tend to skip the scrappy swords. They're just not going to do it. When hit, reduce their attack by one. Escape from the battle. Drop four coins when hit. So, okay, yeah. So this is sort of like a bonus enemy, right? Um. So we definitely want to get our allies out as soon as possible. So we're going to drop Snoofy here so they can start counting down. After that, we don't have a lot here, honestly. <laughs> 
I don't see much point in doing... Ah, uh, well, how much longer is this battle going to be? I think I just start wailing on this thing. We got Woodhead here, which just will block one attack, really, for us. Maybe we put you up here. So you can drag and you can drag your allies around whenever you want to determine who they're gonna attack. They always attack orbs in the front unless there's like some special condition. So you're gonna apply you're gonna hit for her two, apply three poison, which I think should kill it. If I'm understanding it correctly. Okay. Now the question is when the turn ends, will this die or will it run away first? That I'm not certain about. I'm bring you down to one health here. Maybe I just kill it to play it safe? I don't know. We get to redraw after that. I'm gonna play it safe and kill it. I wasn't certain what in what order. Enemies always attack first, so if this counters at a one and their counter is a one, the enemy will always attack first. I think we redraw now. We got some more snow sticks. Okay, let's do that. And we'll let it die by the woofer there. Alright, little boss here. Whenever anything is snowed, gain plus one damage. Counter two is a very short counter. Hmm. Okay, here's what I th think we do. We put both of them up here to hit the snow knight. I kill this thing so that it doesn't absorb the attacks from our two allies. Play both of our attacks at this guy. I mean, this baby snowbow is only going to deal one. Oh yeah, we, we won. First battle's easy. It might have looked easy, but trust me, it picks up really fast. <laughs> all right, all right. One. All right, so then you get a couple of things. Uh, this is, I think it just gives you money. This lets you pick a card to add to your deck. Uh, the Frozen Travelers gives you an ally to add, but you can only have so many in the deck, which is kind of disappointing, I think. Apply two poison, aimless. Attacks twice every three turns. It doesn't deal damage, but it applies poison. Deal eight additional damage to snowed targets. We kind of need a tank, is what I'm thinking here. So maybe we take wall up for that purpose. I think we do. Apply one, demonize. Doubles damage taken. That's interesting. We need someone to sit in the front. Although the poison thing was kind of interesting, I felt. Now, what do you got? Let's see. Apply two, poison barrage. It's all targets in the row. That's got to be usually better. There's usually lots of enemies. I think we take spore pack here. I, ha I haven't really used poison before. I always try to go for, like, the frost. There seems to be, like, three-ish types of builds. There's, like, spice, frost, poison. Something along those lines, at least. We have another tank. Apply one frozen to all enemies, or snow. Every four turns? It's kind of a long time. I kind of like this guy. So, blocks entire hit. So it'll absorb exactly one hit. Now, there's a mechanic I haven't used yet that we'll have to get into. That's definitely a tank. I think this guy is kind of just OP. So you can throw your allies back into the deck. They'll get healed for like five health, I think, every time. And then you can redraw them and play them again. Whenever anything is snowed, gain plus two attack. When hit, apply two snow to the attacker. Okay. Who do I want to bring out first here? Snuffy? I think it's Snuffy. You deal four? Jeez. We really want to get the allies out as soon as possible. So maybe wallop first, actually. You actually have a lot of health. Twelve health is a lot. Yeah, go ahead and take a hit from the bear, I guess. Go Snuffy. So if your hero dies, then you lose. Uh, that is how you lose. Never anything has snowed. Apply three. So I can make you attack. Hmm.
Okay, so that'll kill this guy. Now Wallop can go in the front. I'll move you back. Alright, let's see. I kind of just want to hold on to this in case something else happens. So you're going to apply Frost to Snuffy there. Jeez, it's just not happening, though. Let's give you some more damage. You attack pretty often. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. So what goes first here? Not the poison, unfortunately, it turns out. All right, so you're frozen. Let's see. We got Blunky here. So you're at four. You're gonna take one from the poise. We hit apply, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think we start snowing on... The bear hits pretty hard, huh? I just delay both of them best I can. I'd like to kill this thing. Enemies always go first. So I can't actually kill this. It's gonna escape. There's no way around it, because it's gonna go first. So I guess we move up here. Let's see, you'll apply three poison and deal two. That's five damage right there. And then you'll hit for three. Trying to think of what we do here. I think we just sword this thing. Okay, you're dead. And what we can do here, we can make Blunky absorb this a hit right here. They always attack whoever's in front unless it, there's some special thing it says otherwise. So Blunky used their block. I can actually let them hit for one and then recycle them. But I kind of want to redraw now. So we'll just go ahead and throw them in there. So when they're deployed again, they can block another attack. All right. How do we want to do this? Dun, 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 dun. Whenever anything is snowed, gain plus two attack. Barrage. Hits all targets in the row. Oh, boy. Uh, and they cannot be snowed. Let's see. What do we do here? It's hard. Okay, let's do this. Calm down. Uh, let's snow you. You deal extra damage. You'll kill that, basically, in a second. I guess we'll attack in this order. You're gonna get snowed, but there's really no way around it. You'll kill that. You'll kill that. So I guess we'll just apply Spore Barrage here to the boss. Alright, that was good, though. Wallop can now go in the front over here. That sounds good. I can now speed up someone's turn. Probably the laner here. Boom. Done. Give me that sweet, sweet poison damage. It's a short demo if we win. I'm not so certain I will win, honestly. Like I said, it was quite difficult. All right, so there's kind of no point. I think we're maxed on travelers, so I might as well go this way, I think. All right, what do we got? Something useful? When an enemy attacks, apply one demonize to them, and they, this absorbs a hit. Apply one demonize, increase health by four. Increase health by four. So this you would put on an enemy, and you you'd on like a full health enemy, right? And make them take double damage. Hmm. Totem of the goat. The thing is, I think the demonize. Like I don't know if this doesn't really synergize with the poison thing we got going on. Maybe I just take the heal. I don't love it though, honestly. All right, get the money from that. This is the shop. I think we're maxed on heroes, at least. What do you got for us? So a crown is an item. I really wish it told you exactly what it did before you bought it. But it's just a demo, so... Ooh, pepper ring doesn't sound too bad. 
Okay, we got some good things. So this makes it so you get it at the start of battle and you get to play it for free. So we can do that with somebody. Probably Wallop? Probably Wallop. Wait, what? What happened? Crown. Put the crown on Wallop. Very good. So yeah, you can uh, equip charms onto cards. That's what I was hoping to do here. This costs 18. Applied 9 shell blocks damage. Reduce health by 2. And it's only played once per battle. That's probably worth it. And I can do this. Okay, that gets us a random charm. Boost effects by 5 and gain consume. Can only be used once per battle. Ooh. So if I put that on an ally, how does that work, I wonder? You can't put it on an ally. Okay, so you have to... Ooh, what about flame water for that, then? That's kind of crazy. That sounds pretty good. So, boost effects by five. Whatever the effect it has. I don't really want to lose a snow stick after playing it. There's also, like, spore pack, which is interesting. This already has consume. Oh, won't let you do it. Oh, won't let you do it on the sword. You do spore pack, pink berry, snow stick. I think it's the flame water. That's kind of a lot, because I don't really want to keep drawing that. I don't think it's a good card to draw. Can I remove cards from the deck, I wonder, too? Oh, you can rename them? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I don't know if you can remove cards from the deck, because those swords are pretty weak, I'd say. All right, this is a boss. Let's go, baby. This is where I usually lose. I have won once, though. I have won once. So I can play both of these. Doesn't really matter the order or anything like that. So the boss is stuck in the front. They cannot be snowed. They have barrage, four attack, counter five. You have aimless. You only hit for one. So you're a very low priority, I'd say. But this thing, when hit, reduces attack by one. Spore pack is a pretty good turn one draw. We also have flame water in our possession. So we definitely have the thing on the top. I think it's safe to say. We don't really care about playing Blunky right now. I want to get that in play. Okay. Now the rest of our hand is kind of terrible. <laughs> I guess I keep hitting the Winter Worm here. This boss is going to go down fast though. Okay, so that's not the end of the boss there, by the way. So, you know, definitely don't focus on the snow bow here at all. The boss is already down. Music is great in this, by the way. Okay, so they split. This one cannot be frozen. This one can. Uh, No one is actually attacking this turn. Do I play the Blunky anyway? Hmm... Don't know. You only hit for two. Apply one Frost Wild. Gain times one Frenzy, I think? When other wild cards are killed. Oh, okay, so when you kill one, the other one will gain Frenzy. I see. I think we draw. Is it me or am I, like, missing my dude? Where didn't I have a dude? No, never mind. It was Wallop. I was thinking of another run. <laughs> okay, uh, we kind of want to get Snuffy out here. You're about to attack for five. This isn't a small amount. You only hit for two. In the meantime. You only hit for one. So maybe I hit this thing up here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That looks good. So you got four poison applied. Two poison and only four health. Put you up here. Sunrod. So you'll actually attack this turn after the snow bow. 
That thing's dead. I do have a heal in hand. It looks like a mess, doesn't it? Apply two frost. Uh, if I put you in the front, you're gonna die. So I could throw wallet back in the deck here. Let's see, what do we wanna do? You'll hit for one, you'll hit for one and apply two frost. So I think we just do this. Apply nine shell. I think that's fine. I think we just draw here and try to grab the sun rod and get the wind really fast. There we go. So you'll attack right away. Done. Boss down, baby. <laughs> it seems like going for burst is really important. <laughs> yeah, the definitely putting that effect. What was it? The flameless sword or whatever it was. The plus five was really important for that. We like charms. We'll go treasure. The charms are really good. Getting getting extra cards for your deck, not as good. While active, all allies retain spice. Frontline deploys to the front row. Oh, this is something you put in the front row. Hey, we, we're not doing spice. Whenever anything is poisoned, double the amount and lose one health on the Shroominator. While active, add plus two attack to items in my hand. Oh, so that's for like a scrap bill. I guess the Shroominator? I'm not so certain about that, honestly. What do you got for a charm? Apply one... <laughs> one shroomy thing. Okay. You can have more than one charm on an ally, too. So I guess we're always going to keep you freed up to attack. So I think just honestly... Increasing it would be best. Or do we give it to Snuffy? I think it's one of those two options. Yeah. I don't know which one. I believe there's only one more battle after the boss. Let's see. Another crap. We are totally broke. Double the target spice. We don't really have a way to get spice. Reserve. No. Okay. I was trying to see if maybe there was a way to remove cards from the deck. Because getting rid of those scrappies would be really useful. All right. Here we go. So every turn it gains one attack and attacks. When hit applies two spice to all allies in the row. When hit count down the counter by one. So we'll take our time on Grog there. I think. Double the amount. I'm looking at what we got here. Hmm. I guess we'll put that there. So you keep attacking, huh? I guess we'll freeze you then. You can redraw early. By the way. <sighs> I don't know why this is so hard to decide. All right, I'm going to give you the nut. All right, you're dead because of the poison. Oh, I should have poisoned Grog, huh? It was kind of big overkill there. So you're going to hit that for four. I don't think it hits itself, but I'm not positive either. I feel like our hand is just kind of stinky. Maybe I should have just redrawn there. I'm not sure. Okay, good. You do not... Do I play Blunky now? I'm worried I'm not going to draw them later. The thing is, you attack, like, really fast, Blunky. Okay, well, let's play them. Okay. So the problem is... Okay, I see. So you go up here... And you're going to apply, like, eight poison to Grog, so it should be dead pretty quickly. You don't really need to heal right now. I don't think you're going to die. Oh, wait, no, when hit? No, it'll happen after. 
Oh god, that's gonna be a nightmare. There's four barrage here. Let's see, Snuffy's here. <clears throat> I'm worried about playing anything in this bottom row. <laughs> There's the flame water. Hmm, interesting. Oh, so I can double the amount using the Shroominator here if I hit everything? Or will that only count once? Oh, it counts twice. It counts for them all. Oh, they did kill it. But at least the poison will kind of take them out. You're going to deal one. Oh, you're going to hit. I can... Hmm, you're going to hit for six, and there's no way around that, huh? Not as far as I can tell. So this guy will hit for one. They'll hit for six. But we have eight shells still up here, so I think we're fine. We lost Blunky. You're, they're both dead from the poison. I don't know. I think it's after they attack, though, is the only issue with that. can make you attack immediately. I'm trying to find a way to finish this battle quickly here. I don't think this thing, like, counts as a boss, so... I know I need to play Snuffy quickly. This is such overkill, too. But it's overkill on pretty... practically everything? Almost practically everything. All right, so maybe you take some damage down here. It's really not that much. Oh, I can finish something with a scrappy sword to avoid taking too much. I think it has to be this one because I'm worried that this one will apply the spice beforehand. It didn't really take that much damage. All right, now you are going to kill that. I don't know if there's going to be more enemies after this, so I guess I'm going to play this and play it safe. I lost a goblin, but who cares, really? And there's King Moko. When hit, apply three spice to everyone in the battle. Okay, so we really want to be careful with that. So we can make you attack quickly here. You're dead. Snuffy's gonna start freezing King Moko. That's actually good, I'd say. This guy in the back, yeah, let's draw. I don't want a scrappy sword. I can't freeze Moko. Oh, right. So I guess I just start freezing this thing. Try to get it on the perma freeze program here. This is gonna be rough. Then maybe the spore pack will kind of kill it. Oh, I almost targeted our own team. All right, so if I don't kill this before it takes this turn, it's going to annihilate us. Because look, it's times five. I also really need to kill that. I have a woodhead, though. Looks like I can't kill it, really. So maybe... Put you there, put the woodhead hit there, and then we can redraw next turn. So, this attack will get soaked. We definitely play this. Get on King Moko over there, that's fine. And then we start freezing you again. Oh, we got it! Demo win, baby. It's actually really hard. Uh, that was actually my first try. It's hard, but uh, it was really fun, actually. It's a great demo, honestly. Check it out on Steam. Game's called Wild Frost. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the deal. If you want to see more of the game, I don't know if... I mean, there's... I, I could actually play the demo more. Uh, the enemies are semi-random, but also mostly fixed in terms of the bosses. So there's, you know, you could do like a different build and everything like that. But they uh, showcase bosses in here too. Build the town, get more cars, different classes, mysterious final boss. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll check you out in the next video. Bye, everybody.